Hi guys, this is Tech Howdy. I welcome you to this video tutorial on creating an ASP.NET Core application with Angular 7. And in this video tutorial, we will be working on our login component and login view. So, in the last video tutorial, we finish coding our home component, the front end of our home component, and the view has been created. Now we will fix our login view when we click on login. As we know, we have not yet enabled routing, therefore, it's redirecting us to the home page. If you are not aware about routing, what I'm talking about, then please go and watch the routing video tutorial for this Angular 7 app that was created previously and also inside the playlist of this video tutorial project. So once you have watched that video, you will be familiar with the routing in Angular 7. And now in this video tutorial, we are going to work on our login application. So let's go back to our Visual Studio IDE. Let's close this home component. And we have already created our login component, which is stored inside our app folder. Let's go ahead and open the HTML of our login component. And now one thing that we want to do is go ahead and create our login page. Since to save time, I have already created the bootstrap code that is required to design this login page. I'm going to just copy paste it here. And once again, the link for this entire project, the source code will be available in the video description. So the code has been pasted here and as I told you the code will be available inside the source code folder which is uploaded on DevOps repos. Now let's go back to our application and click on login. As we know this is not going to work because we don't have our route enabled for login. So let's go ahead and enable this login route so we can view our component for login. So going we'll go back to our application. And now we are going to open the app routing module.ts. Inside the app routing module.ts, we need to add a route for our login path. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's add the route of the, our home component route here. So we'll just add it below this and we can just call our path as login and we are going to add the component which is the login component and we all know that we are getting this error because we have not yet imported the login component so let's go ahead and import this component so import add it here we should not see this error let's save this and now go back to our application now so now we can try to access our login component but just before i access the login component i want to let you guys know that how we are able to route through home products login and register it's because it's routing us from our navigation menu and if you open the component.html for navigation menu we have added the angular attribute which is router link and we have specified the routes for each links that we have added to our navbar so for login we will use the login path for products we will use the products path for register we will use the register path and for home we can leave it blank because we have our path in app routing dot modules that if it's blank we will be redirected to our home component now, if you want to add any more links and paths, you can add it in your navigation component. Now, if we click on login, there is one problem that we need to address, which is it's not going to work. It's redirecting us to the home page. So why is this happening? If you go back to the app routing module dot ts, the answer for that problem is here in this application file. So now look at this route path very carefully. 
so what we are requesting from our angular application is when we click on the login link you redirect us to this path which is login correct so now it comes to this application file the request and it will search for the login path so it looks at the first path and it says oh this is not the login path it looks at the second path this is also not the login path it looks at the third path here and here what it sees if you can't find the path anything other than these two then you redirect to home page now do you think that the code after this path is going to be executed no it's not because as soon as the request reaches here it's just going to redirect the client to the home page and that's what exactly happening in this application when you click on login it's going to the first two paths and then when it reaches to the default path it's saying that i cannot find it so i will redirect you to the home page so in order to fix that all we have to do is move this path above the default path which we want the user to be redirected to now add a comma here and now we can just remove this comma here save this file since angular is on our live server it should be refreshed but we can go ahead and refresh it if it doesn't now let's click on our login path and now we will be redirected to our login path so our login path is working fine so make sure that if you have any other links or any other routes added in your navigation bar and you're adding the paths here in the app routing file you add the path before this last path which you want the user to redirect if any path is not available so to avoid any mistakes make sure you do that so the next thing that we want to do is go ahead and fix the styling for our login component and to do that we will go back to our application and we will add the styling code that's the css code inside the global style sheet you can also use the applic uh, the components default css file which is generated uh, inside the component but i'm just going to add it to the global style sheet and if you wish to you can use the component style sheet as well so it's totally up to you so i'm just going to paste my css code here and i'm going to say this is the login css and i'm just going to end this here so you guys are going to use the same styling you can refer to it from the source code so now I'll save this, go back to my login form, and as you see that this style has been applied to my login form and it looks more presentable in our application. But the carousel is missing the images, so let's go ahead and add those images. And also for the images, I am using this website which is called as pexels.com. This website provides with millions of images which are copyright free and you can use them in your projects so if you want any images that you want to use you can always refer to this website which is pexels.com now i'm going to add the images for my slider over here that's my carousel so I'll go back to my application and go to my www root folder and then inside the root folder as we all know we have created an images folder to add all the images related to the application so i'm going to reveal this in finder and here i'm going to paste the images that i downloaded from pexels.com i've just given them a name of image 1 image 2 and image 3 and use them in the carousel bootstrap carousel now i'm going to save this application and reload it and now as you see the images are loading in the carousel and it looks more presentable compared to the previous version without the styling so now we have added styling let's go back to our bootstrap code in case if you are once again not familiar with using bootstrap ui elements in your application you can refer to this website 
which is getbootstrap.com. I believe most of you developers are familiar with Bootstrap because it's been here for a while and the latest version is version 4.1.3 that we are using in our application. And inside the login form, this is a alert box that I have used, which you can find in on the top of of my section which is the login section that i have created for this entire login block and i have used an alert box this alert box will basically display the error message if a user enters an invalid password or if the user has not confirmed his confirmation email he will get an error message here displayed so we will use this alert box and this alert box is dismissible and it's very easy to use them in your application. If you go to Bootstrap and you search for alerts, you can find them here. There's different colors that you can use and different types of alert boxes. Whichever you prefer, you can use them in your application. We have not yet coded the functionality to add the appropriate message and we will do that using Angular code using our TypeScript code in our component.ts file, which we will do in the next video tutorial. And once again, if you scroll down, you will see the carousal code, which is added here as well. And the carousal code also is available under Bootstrap's official website. And different types of carousal are available to use. And the code is here. All you have to do is copy paste the code and use it with your own images. Just replace the link for the images with your source for your images that you have in your project. So I have used this specific slider to code the login form. So friends, that should be it for this video tutorial where we finished designing our login form. And in the next video tutorial, we will use TypeScript and we will code our login form functionality. If you have any questions, please, use the comment section and I will try to respond back as soon as possible. Also like and subscribe my video and I will push this code into our repository so that you can access it from the DevOps repos that we created for our project. So once again, thank you for watching this video tutorial.